Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And as many of you know, getting accurate white balance is absolutely crucial in photography or video when it comes to skin tone and color accuracy. With all that said, today I wanna show you how to get amazing, almost picture perfect white balance using any Nikon mirrorless camera. It's a real easy trick and I'm about to show you what it is. Let's go. Now before we get started, I do want to recommend one tool that has been absolutely crucial in me getting accurate white balance and that is a white balance card. This is the uh, color checker that I've been using by x for a long time. It's called the Color Checker Passport right there. Now this thing never leaves my side. It's always in my camera bag. You have your 18% gray card right there and then you also have the color um, side of everything with the little color color there we go great for video okay so with that said these aren't cheap but you tend to not have to buy them after a while like you know you'll keep it for a long time so i will leave a link in the description section down below for you to check out the x right color checker for yourself but it is a phenomenal tool and it comes in this nice little hard shell case so you can put it in any camera bag and know it won't fall apart now let's get to the trick of the day okay first you gotta have your camera i have the nikon z8 right here and then i have my x right color checker passport right on this side so it's very easy all you gotta do is press the info button right here which gets you to that quick menu now once you're here you have to move on over to the white balance now there's many white balances presets right uh, but you want to get to the pre so this is where you could customize manually customize your white balance now as soon as you hear you press enter there's six preset banks you could save so this is great for if you want to get white balance when you're shooting outdoor and then another white balance recorded for indoor so when you do that the eye dropper tool pops up right there press and hold okay then your white balance um meter will pop up it's that little square right there now you just look for your white balance card make sure that that um square is on the white balance just like this here and then you just press okay and then it says data acquired and then there you go now you have accurate white balance you press i to get out of it and there you go now you could also do that again when you go here and go to uh d2 for outdoor perhaps and then you repeat the same process press down uh excuse me and then from here you press ok for d2 and you can see it says pre2 and then you press and hold uh, to get the eyedropper square. Once you have that, you put your white balance right in front of it like so. Press the OK button in the center. And then there you go. You now have, it says data acquired, which means it has been recorded. And then you press uh, the I button to back out and there you go. Now you have both pre two, as you see right up top. And then you also have pre one that you already set up. Whoops. Right there. Okay. So this is again, a great way for you to get that white balance that you need. Now that's just a simple and quick way for you to make sure that you get accurate white balance regardless of the Nikon mirrorless camera that you are using. The menu system and steps are the same. Now, with that said, you don't have to use an x right Color Checker Passport if you don't feel like buying uh, that white balance card. You can use 
most basic white balance cards or shooting onto a white surface or against a white surface tends to help or shooting in the environment that you happen to be photographing in that also helps as well now as many of you know if you're shooting raw you can adjust it later on in post and Lightroom and whatnot but this does help you to get in the pocket really quick so that you're at least not wasting as much time in post-production adjusting that white balance so with all that said if you have any questions about this tip please post your comments down below hopefully you found it all useful I'll share more quick useful tips for you later on again I'll leave a link in the description section for you to check out the x right color checker passport for yourself and of course until next time keep shooting stay creative thank you for watching